Hi guys, James here. Welcome back to my channel. Hope everyone's having a great day. So in today's video, I am going to be talking about some new lipsticks that I purchased. Now these are actually from an Australian brand, and that brand is called Burmese Dream. Now I'm trying to um, really focus on Australian brands and really highlight them when I can. So I came across these um, on Instagram, because you know, you just stroll in the middle of the night when you can't sleep, you get on your phone, you stroll. And I found these and I was like, oh, these are really um, interesting. I want to try this brand. And this brand is actually based in the city I live in, which is is Perth WA in Australia um, we are actually the most isolated city in the world I've mentioned that a hundred times so it's kind of exciting to find a new brand that's based in um, Perth so hopefully these lipsticks are good because you know I want to highlight good products from Australia but anyway this is what it comes with so I did buy um, a bundle of five liquid lipsticks I also bought a lip oil which I'm not a huge fan of lip oils but I thought I want to try the formula anyway and just see what it feels like and also I did buy a lip scrub so this is what the package looks like I actually bought this last week and it did come Tuesday but I just haven't got around to it so it's been sitting in my room for a while I actually just finished work at four o'clock it is 5 30 in the morning I you know when you get home and you're just full of energy so I've actually cleaned my whole everyday makeup desk and drawers and restocked them with new items trying to recycle everything um, so nothing just sits in the corner and not gets used so um, I just did that and then I'm like you know what I feel like filming a video so I thought well let's film an unboxing of this and I'm going to swatch them, I'm going to tell you the prices, yeah, I'm going to do all that. I'm not going to put everything on my lips, I'm going to just put them on the back of my hands because, you know, it is 5.30 in the morning. But yeah, let's open her up. So it comes in this cute little bubble wrap um, envelope, nice little pink, oh, 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 I think they added some freebies in because I have like a, I think this is a sample of their foundation, they actually do have foundations. But I didn't really buy them just because um, the shade ranges aren't huge. And the shades that I thought would be my skin tone were sold out. So I didn't really get any foundations. But this one, this one looks very warm toned. It's it's very yellow, as you can tell from the back of my hand. Let me show you. The back of my hand, it's very, very yellow. So I don't think this would be the right shade for me. But you know what? I might test it out and just see how it actually sits on my face. All right, so we've got a whole lot of different things, actually. There's a whole lot of different things in here. I, I'm looking at my phone. I actually have it on my phone. And, yeah, I bought a bundle of five, I bought a bundle of five lipsticks, um, which are on sale. Normally, it would cost you $90 for five liquid lipsticks. But in the bundle, they cost you $63. And you can actually choose... Um, each of the shades so you don't just get sent the ones that are in the bundle you actually get to choose each shade which I think is really good um, I also did buy a lip scrub which is a watermelon lip scrub now they do have mystery boxes on their site as well for $88 and it does have a retail value of $176 but I just thought I actually want to get the lip shades that I would use so that's why I picked the bundle instead of the mystery box because mystery box you don't always know what shades you're going to get um, and then I also did get the lip oil. Now, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to tell you what the prices are for everything. So, um, lips, let's see. Um, the liquid lipsticks retail for $18 Australian each, but I got the bundle for $63 for five. The lip oils retail for $11.50 each. And then the lip scrub, where is the lip scrub? And the lip scrubs retail for $11.50 each. Now, I got the watermelon one because I love watermelon. Now, it does say on the website it's free delivery on orders over $35. I don't know if that's international. I don't actually know if they ship internationally. I think they do. I'm assuming they do. Yeah, I'm assuming they do, but I don't know if the free um, shipping is for international or not. But it just says free delivery on orders over $35. So, yeah, that's everything covered there. Let me open everything. So... These are what all the, I'm guessing, all the lip products look like. This is the lip oil, and that looks like it's quite a big lip oil. I was expecting something like small, but this is quite big. So we've got the liquid lipsticks, and they are all sealed in plastic, which I kind of do like, but it is also a little bit of a waste. But anyway, save a turtle, save a giraffe, all that type of stuff. There's the five lip shades. We have the lip scrub, which is really cute. I love a good lip scrub. So I will smell that in a second. And then they also gave me a whole lot of free stuff. 
They gave me a whole lot of free stuff. Look at all this. Look at all these things they gave me. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, so let me just get rid of this. Um, so one of the satchels is um, the Australian pink clay mask. And I love the Australian pink clay mask. I normally get it from Sand and Sky. But I've actually run out of mine. And I'm using the Juno and Co. Um, clay mask. It's a blue one. But I do like that they give you a free sample, which is nice. I didn't know they were going to give me all this. And then we do have three foundations. All of them look way too dark for me. So... I'll show you this one here is the shade natural which I showed you before and then guys we've got this one which is the shade porcelain and this one's this one's probably the closest shade wise to me so I might try that one and then we have this one here which is ivory and that's just very very yellow I don't think that would be my shade no I just think that's going to be too yellow so the one I would try out of these would be porcelain because I feel like they're the closest to my skin tone. But yeah, that's really nice that they included those three. I didn't know they were going to do that. And then they also did include this. Now on here it says body polish sample vanilla. So they wrote a little note on it. Wow, that smells so nice. Like, that's a really strong smell of vanilla. Really strong. But really nice. Um, it actually looks like a sponge. If you look at it. I don't know if the camera's going to focus enough. But that looks like a sponge. There we go. That's it. Don't don't look at my nails. Don't look at my nails. But that's what it looks like. It looks like a sponge. Guys, I'm just rubbing it on the back of my hand. And it's actually, it's got sugar granules in it. I don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. Come on, camera, focus. Yeah, so you can see some of the sugar granules over here. Um, so I guess it's an, a body exfoliator. Hmm. It's very, very sticky. It actually, it feels like it's like honey. It almost feels like honey. But yeah, let's continue. I'm just gonna um, quickly show you what the lip scrub looks like and um, how it feels. And then I'm gonna wash the back of my hand off before we get into the lipsticks because I don't wanna swatch it over the um, body polish. So this is what the watermelon lip scrub looks like. Really cute. Now this is cruelty and vegan free and it has a six months expiry date on it. Um, it doesn't tell me how much like mils or grams there is on here it doesn't say it on the packaging and guys it smells like watermelon which is really nice it's not really overpowering but you can smell it which is really nice all right i'm just going to use a different finger than i used before oh that's really gritty this reminds me of jeffree star's lip scrubs um do i have a mirror i have a mirror I'm just gonna put it on my lips That feels actually really nice on the lips. It is really gran granularly um, with sugar granules. But they do disappear and it feels really nice. It doesn't, it doesn't really have a taste. So I guess that's a good thing. It doesn't taste bad or anything. It's got a very neutral taste. So it's not like really sweet or sugary like Jeffree Star's ones are. And I'm only using Jeffree Star as an example because they are the only ones that I've really tried. Um, but yeah, this is actually really nice. So I'm glad I have this. It does do what it's meant to do on my lips. I can actually feel them really soft and smooth now. So that's good. And now guys, I'm gonna go into the lip scrubs and the lip oil. But what I wanna do is I wanna actually rub this off my lips and wash my fingers and the back of my hand and get the stickiness away. Then we can get straight into the lip oil and the liquid lipsticks. So I will be right back guys. All right, guys, I am back and I have washed everything up back my head to my fingers so they're not sticky anymore. I also got rid of the lip scrub off my lips. Now, let me just tell you, I actually really like this product and I think for $11.50, I think it's well worth the money. It is an indie brand, so it's harder to um, keep costs down, but I actually really think that's an affordable price. Now, the prices for the liquid lipsticks, if you think about it, $18.50 or 18 I think they're $18, sorry, um, Australian is probably about... $11 US, so it is really affordable. I know um, Laura Lee's and Many Emmy Ways, I think their liquid lipsticks are between $18 and $20 US, so that's probably about $30 Australian. So I think these are really, really affordable. So I'm really happy about the price point. And then $11.50 for this lip oil, price-wise, is really good. I think that's good. I don't know how the formula is or anything like that, so we'll 
test that out now. I'm just going to use my little trusty knife here. Now, before I open it, it does have a 12 months expiry date on it. And this is a cruelty and vegan free company as well. I think all their products are cruelty and vegan free. Yes, they've got all the little um, symbols, the little rabbit, and then the little vegan symbol there as well. So all of their products are vegan and cruelty free, which is great. I'm assuming their um, body scrub is as well. It doesn't have it on the label just because it's a sample size. But the um, clay mask is, well, I don't know if that can be vegan or cruelty free. It doesn't say it on here, but I'm guessing it is. This is organic. It does have the organic symbol on it. So if you're into organic products, then this is for you. This has nine months expiry date on it. And then these little um, foundation samples, I'm assuming they are vegan cruelty free as well, but they don't have the symbols on it just because this is a sample size. So they don't have all the product ingredients and information on the back of that just because they are sample sizes. Anyway, I'm talking too much. Let's get into it. I always talk too much. <laughs> All right, so we're going to try the lip oil first because I'm going to swatch it on my lips and then we'll see how it uh, feels. And then I'll probably wipe it off and just swatch one of these on my lips and then the rest of these on the back of my hand just because, you know, I have finished work. It is 5.30 in the morning. I don't want to, you know, have my lips red raw or anything like that before I go to bed. Um, I haven't had a shower yet, so I'm going to have a shower after I film this. But I just wanted to jump on here because I've... I'm full of energy for now. I'll probably crash in the next half an hour, but you know, it is what it is. Now, I do like that these are sealed in plastic, but I just think it's a little bit of a waste. You know, we are trying to save the planet and everything like that. Um, yeah, I think the box is enough. In my opinion, the box is enough. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion. All right, so lip oil, let's open her up. Now I got it in the shade Juicy because it's pink and I like pink. So that's what it looks like. It has a very, very big um, doe foot applicator. Look how thick this is. Now this has, does it tell me how much product there is in here? This has six mils of product in it, which is actually a decent amount of product. And then the liquid lipsticks have four mils. So the lip oil has a lot more product than the liquid lipsticks. Let me open her up. The packaging is cute. It's... It's nothing amazing, it's just stock standard packaging, but it is um, cute. It feels nice, it doesn't feel very cheap. Oh, this smells really nice. Wow, this smells, it smells like strawberries, but artificial strawberries. It's not like fresh strawberries, but it smells nice. Now, I've never really been a big fan of lip oils just because I prefer either lip gloss because I love a lip gloss with shimmer. They are my go-to lip glosses with shimmers. But I'm guessing this this feels like a lip gloss. It feels really nice. Actually feels really nice on the lips. I don't know why I'm doing it so precise. I'm not doing makeup with it. Wow, that actually feels really, really comfortable on the lips. It's not sticky at all. It's really smooth. This is really, really hydrating. I could definitely see myself using this like every day. It smells nice, it tastes it tastes okay. I'm actually really loving this. For $11.50, I think that's well worth the money. You get a whole lot of product. Like I was expecting this to be maybe this small. You know, I see a lot of them at Mecca Max and stuff like that and they are really small. Um, but this has a lot of product in it, so I think it's well worth the money. So I'm really happy I actually picked that up. I, I've never really been a big fan of lip oils. I've tried them before, and I've just never really liked them, but I actually really, really like this product. So I'm really happy with that. I'm going to put this in my actual bag I carry every day with me, and I'm going to um, take out one of my lip glosses and replace it with this. So, yeah, really happy about that. All right, guys, so let's get into these. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take all the plastic off and take these out of the packaging just to save some time, just because the plastic is really fiddly. So I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, I am back, and I have taken everything out of its little packaging. God, that was really fiddly um, to do. Now, I'm just going to throw these out just because it's very hard to open these without ripping the ends off. So I'm just going to throw these out. But this is what the packaging looks like without the plastic on. Really, really nice packaging. I actually really like it. It tells you exactly what you need to know. Um, yeah, it's colorful. It's got all the information on it. It's got all their social media on it as well. I think it's really good packaging for just an indie brand. I think they've done well with that. So 
Love the unicatons, throwing them out though. Then guys, we've actually got the product itself. So this is what it looks like. So this is plastic, all of it's plastic. It is frosted plastic. It's it's not really heavy, so it's it doesn't feel expensive, but it doesn't feel cheap. It's in the middle. So guys, the shades I got are Prom, um, Lafette, Lafette, um, Swell Tell. Oh, I cannot even say these. I'm just going to put these on the screen because I cannot say these. We've got Ragoon. That's a nice red one, like a blood red. I really wanted to get that. I was lucky it was in stock still. And then I got Mandalay. Okay, so some of these names are hard for me to say, um, but I will put them up on screen as I use each of them. So out of the five, I got four quite red. So I got some red and some like burgundy color ones because I do love these shades to use on my lips. And then I did get like a neutral one as well. So this is almost a brown orange terracotta shade. I do like those shades as well. So I'm going to swatch each of these. I'm going to probably put this pink one on my lips because I really like the shade um but yeah let's start swatching them so this is the shade Lafette L-A-P-H-E-T Lafette Lafette I don't know how to say that so I'm just going to pump them so they are mixed because they've probably been laying on their side for a while oh that smells really nice that smells like vanilla this actually reminds me of um almost like Laura Lee's liquid lipsticks the smell of those that smells really nice. Okay, so the colour, wow, that is so full coverage. Look at that. That is so pretty. So, so, so pretty. Look at that. That's one of my favourite colours. I love that shade. And guys, before I forget, let me just show you what the actual um, applicator looks like. So it reminds me of Jeffree Star's like, concealer applicator, how it's like got a hole in the middle so it carries more product. All right, so next one we're going to swatch is... Swell, tw oh, I can't say that. It's, yeah, I'll just put that up on the screen. But this is what it looks like in the packaging. Really pretty. Just pump it again, just to make sure that it's, you know, mixed well. It has the same smell as the other one does. That's what it looks like on the applicator. So let me just quickly swatch it next to the other one. I will actually do um a transfer test as well, just to see how well these dry down. Oh my God, that color. Look how pigmented that is. I did one swipe. One swipe, guys. That is so, so pretty. Now, I am seeing that this one here that I swatched before, that's drying down very matte. So it looks like it's a matte liquid lipstick, which I love. Um, and I always do put lip glosses over it anyway. But wow, guys, that color is stunning. It's like a blood red. Oh, that's stunning. Right, next um, one we're going to swatch is the shade Mandalay. That's really pretty. It's like a... It's... A brighter red which is nice I do love red red my favorite color I'm gonna pump it again just to make sure it's mixed well it smells exactly the same as the other two really oh this one's a bit more liquidy whoa that color is stunning guys guys look at that that is a beautiful red that is stunning oh my god that actually reminded me of um, Luna Beauty's Aphrodite shade. Actually, I think I had that. Let me just swatch it next to it because that looks exactly the same swatch. Manny has not restocked that shade for a while. So if I found a dupe that is local, amazing. So this is the Aphrodite one. Let me just quickly swatch it next to that. I've had this for two years, so it's probably not in its prime, but whoa, they look exactly the same. So that's the Luna Beauty one. And this is the um, Burmese Dream one. And they look so similar colour-wise. Look how pretty that looks. And they actually smell... No. Wow, okay. This smells like this, but a bit stronger. So these have the same scent, but this smells a little bit stronger. And now, I have had this for two years, so it's probably not in its prime, but... I'm not going to lie, I can't really tell the difference. Like, this Luna Beauty one is a little bit more watery, and I think that's just because it is over two years old. Um, but I can't really tell the difference. Oh my god, did I just find a dupe for Luna Beauty's Aphrodite shade? What? 
Oh my god, I think I did. I think I just did. Yas Green. Okay, I'm happy about that. Next one we've got is in the shade Ragoon, and this is a deep red shade. A bit deeper than the one I just swatched. Um, so let me swatch that above the one I swatched before. Yeah, it has the same scent as the other ones. Oh, this is actually a lot deeper. But again, really, really pretty. Oh my god. I'm swatching it over the knuckles, which is not the best place to swatch. But whoa, look how pretty that is. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy. That reminds me of Unicorn Blood from Jeffree Star. Okay, so the last one is the shade Prom. And I'm going to swatch this on my lips and also on the back of my hands. So I'll just quickly do it on the back of my hands first. Now this is more of a pinkish um, burgundy shade. Wow, that's really, really pretty. Really pretty. I'm just going to do another swatch just because it's a, this one's not as um, full pigmented as the other ones. Just because I think this is a lighter shade. But that's what it looks like there. Again, really, really pretty. Oh my god, look how pretty all of them are. And these two, I still can't get over. I can't tell the difference between those two. Besides, this one's a little, still a little bit more watery just because it hasn't dried down. Oh my god. Okay, let me just swatch this one on my lips. I'm not the best um, applicator of liquid lipsticks on my lips. So don't judge me. It is almost 6 o'clock in the morning now. And I have just finished work, so... Let's see how this goes. <laughs> First impressions, this is very, very light. Like, you cannot tell that this is on your lips. This feels, it doesn't feel like anything's on your lips. Now, it hasn't dried down yet, so I want to see how it feels when it's dried down matte, but, oh, it's on my lips. But this feels like you've got nothing on your lips. It's so light. What do we think of the shade? I actually really like that shade. Now, it's not the best application on my lips, but I think it's actually really pretty. Let me just get it off my um, teeth. Alright guys, so I've got most of it off my lips. And it is starting to dry. It's a little dry, like you can't rub your lips together. It kind of gets stuck. But I think with a lip gloss, it will feel really good. So let me just quickly put a lip gloss on. Alright guys, so I've got my um, lip gloss. Now this is the one from Makeup Revolution. This is one of my favourite ones right now. This is in the shade Light Beam and it's just... Uh, clear shimmer gloss. I'm going to put this lip gloss on over the lip oil just because I think this is more to hydrate your lips rather than be a gloss. So I'm just going to put this one on just because I know how it performs already. Wow, that combination is so pretty. Yeah, that feels a lot better with a lip gloss on it. So if I wear this, I will put a lip gloss on it, which is what I do with most of my liquid lipsticks, even my matte lipsticks anyway. Um, I always put a lip gloss on because I love a shiny lip. That's just one of my favorite things to do. Now, on the actual applicator, there wasn't much that came off. Normally, the whole entire um, applicator is stained, so I'm actually happy that a lot didn't come off, which just makes me feel like there won't be much transfer, so I am gonna swatch the back of my hand with my finger, a clean finger, and just see if there's any smudging. But so far, this liquid lipstick feels so nice. With this lip gloss, it feels really good. When you apply it, it doesn't feel like anything's on there. It does feel a little dry when it dries down, but that's just because it's a matte liquid lipstick. Um, so yeah, put a lip gloss over it and you'll be ready to go. I think the color is stunning. It is a full coverage liquid lipstick, which I love. Look how pretty that is. The, I'm, yeah, I'm really happy with that. All right, so... These three here have dried down, and so I'm just going to get my clean finger, and I just want to wipe across these three, see if there's any transfer. There is no transfer at all, guys. There is a little bit on my finger, but there's, it's not much, and it's, it's just because I've been rubbing, so it's not actually smudging on the back of my hand. It's just coming off my finger because it's dried down, and I'm just getting the dry particles um, on my finger, so... I can't believe there's no transfer whatsoever. Oh my god, no transfer whatsoever. Look at that. Look at it. No transfer. 
It's so easy to apply. It's completely full coverage, but I am gonna kiss the back of my hand on this side and see if there's any transfer with a lip gloss on it. So let me just test it. Okay, so there is a little bit of transfer, but most liquid lipsticks are gonna do that when you put a lip gloss over it. But it's still on my lips. It's still completely full coverage, even though I've kissed it. You can't see my actual lips underneath it. So it's still really full coverage, which is really nice. So yeah, um, for $18, I think these are a bargain. $18 Australian, so that's about $11 US. Keep that in mind. And on the website, it does say that there is free shipping um, with any order over $35. Now, I don't know if that's international or not. You can reach out to them on Instagram. They will get back to you if you've got any questions. Hi guys, Future James here. So I'm actually just editing this video and I wanted to jump on here and correct something that I did mention in this video. So I mentioned there was free shipping for um, orders over $35. Now, I didn't know if that was only domestic or if that included international. I did actually reach out via DMs on Instagram to the company and they said that it is free shipping for $35 and over for domestic and it is actually $100 in shipping internationally. So if you're gonna buy something from the website and you're shipping it internationally, it is gonna cost you $100 Australian. Now that's due to COVID and being a small indie brand, that's what it's gonna to cost to ship internationally. Um, they did say that when COVID and everything dies down or you know recovers, all that type of stuff, they're gonna work on getting the prices down shipping-wise internationally. So I just wanted to quickly jump on here and correct myself with that. Um, and yeah, let's get back to the video. And guys, they did include so many like free samples. They included three foundation shades, they included a pink clay mask sample, and then this body polish sample in the scent vanilla. So I think that's really nice of them. Again, this is an indie brand. So the fact that they sent all of these extra things, it does cost them money. And then guys, I do have this watermelon scrub for $11.50. I think that is so worth the money. And then this lip oil, $11.50 as well. Look how much product you get in that, and it feels so nice as well. I'm really happy that I got this. I'm actually happy with everything. Obviously, I haven't tried the sample items out, besides what I tested on the back of my hand with this um, product. And guys, if you want to try out an indie Australian-owned brand, definitely check out this brand, because I think their liquid lipsticks are amazing. I would highly recommend these to other people. I would probably buy a few of these um to put in my future giveaways just because I know these products are amazing. The lip oil is very affordable, very comfortable on the lips. Lip scrub is really nice and cute. I love the scent of that. And yeah, I'm just really, really blown away. And guys, that's the end of this video. It is currently 20 past six in the morning. I am going to wash this off the back of my hand, wash this off my face, have a shower, and go to bed watching some YouTube. But guys, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, also hit the notification bell so you know when I upload a brand new video. And also check out my Instagram and TikTok because I do post a lot of things on there that I don't film. And again, guys, I will list all the information from this brand down below. And maybe try out some product for yourself. Alright guys, till next time, stay safe, all my love, bye.